Welcome back everybody to the daily show where we discuss and do technical analysis on big mega cap stocks. So before we get started, please smash that like button and 100 plus likes on this video would be greatly appreciated guys. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. Now if you want to support the channel and get my daily trade ideas, my swing trade ideas, live trading and all kinds of setups definitely check out their link down below in the description for patreon and now let's get right into it guys so before we get started let me just clear this out of the way guys last video that i made four or five days ago it actually did not get 100 plus likes within uh 24 to 48 hours and that is why there is no update now this is not a demand i've been asking you guys that this is how youtube algorithm works we need more likes 100 150 200 the more we can get is better and guess what yes you know a lot of you guys are doing it we're getting 100 plus more than before but whenever i actually ask i get it if i don't it's not hitting 100 plus as a matter of fact not even hitting 100 so these videos can be appreciated by only doing one thing hitting the like button so if you really appreciate these videos you want these videos i'm not asking for donation guys just hit the like button and we're already near 10,000 subscribers so push it you know let's just get over 10,000 and let this channel grow and we can actually reach out to more audience out there more people can watch by doing what hitting the like button these videos will go out to more people right so that is why no updates and i hope this one gets you know more than 100 plus uh, likes on this video guys now what's happening in the market well we kind of got oversold and we got a bounce right now apple we did call out this bear flag before it actually uh, played out and now apple is up today 1.37 percent now if you look at my screen there is a gap just under 218 also, we got a negative sloping 20 day moving average white line. So it looks like what's happening. I mean, you can call this a rising wedge right here or maybe another bear flag, whatever you want to call it right here, guys. I mean, look at the volume. Absolutely no volume here. And this thing is going up. So I think going into next week, as long as Apple staying under 220, we might come back and take out this support right here, guys. 50 day moving average right here at 215 and below that the next support 211 five day moving average and then this critical support at 207 you can see i mean the same day where i actually got calls right here last week on monday i mean this thing exploded came back up and this was a huge trade right here now apple breaks under 207 we might be retesting again right here 198 to even 200 so watch out for that. We do have this rising wedge or bear flag again, and possibly Apple will close this gap. As long as Apple remains under 220, this can play out and Apple can come back again down to these levels right here, 215, 211, 207, and underneath that level, this thing can flush all the way down to 198 to 200, and then even you know, 190 possible if this sell-off actually continues. Now, not only this bear flag we also talked about it before in my video we got this head left shoulder and now we have this right shoulder pretty much formed on apple stock now you can see this thing coming back up maybe it will close this gap and then will continue to go down and if that happens you need to watch apple because this could be another a lower high on apple just gap fill and then a reversal to the downside so apple definitely not out of the woods yet but if this thing clears 220 next week, then watch out for continuation to the upside back up to 225 to even 230 and then this gap 232.33 on Apple stock. On a Microsoft is up 0.83%. So Microsoft, we do not have a bull trend. We do have a strong downtrend on Microsoft. And not only that, all these moving averages, 20 day, 50 day, 13 and 5 are negative sloping to the downside so microsoft on a strong downtrend right now now going into monday session there will be support at 400 but if that gives up this thing can come down again down to 390 387 and then 384.55 to the upside 
Microsoft can come up here and take out this candle, which is 410. Above 410, this thing can run up to 413 and then possibly even 420. And we can set up another lower high rejection anywhere here. 413 to 420 and this thing can come down again unless Microsoft goes all the way up to 420, possibly takes out 424, comes back and retest 420 to 424 as a support and then goes back up from there. In that case, this thing will break out of this downtrend. Until then guys, we can set up a lower high and look at these moving averages. These are coming down fast. And that means one thing, this thing can get a rejection anywhere here and then possibly can come down even more. Watch out for the support at 400 and if that gives up 390, 387.29, lower Bollinger, Bollinger Band right here on this daily time frame and then 384.55. On Amazon stock it's up 0.69% for last three days including today guys, rejection at 167 yesterday day before and you can see when today closing near 167 so this is gonna be a critical level below 167 this thing can come back down to this support 163.69 and then 160 158 155 and then 150 now if this thing breaks and holds 167 in that case watch out for more continuation to the upside we do have this massive gap on top and from 167 this thing can definitely make a move up to 173 and from there watch out for a move and possibly a retest of negative sloping 20 day moving average 178.75 and then even 180 and then this gap comes into play near 182. On Google stock it's up 0.95% so Google you can see this was a bear flag right here. It actually played to the downside and now we might be bear flagging again and also Google on a strong downtrend just like Microsoft we do not have a bull trend and all these moving averages right here are negative sloping to the downside so that is a strong downtrend on Google stock going into Monday session what to look for possibly gap fill and a rejection from 166.39 to 167 13 day moving average now if this thing can clear that then watch out for a move maybe in the short term up to this gap 170 and only Google can actually break and hold 173 20 day moving average this thing going back up to the upside until then we can set up a lower high possibly this bear flag can play out and soon as Google actually takes out 162 you're going to see a dump all the way down to 155 and possibly from there this thing can go much much lower and again guys look at the volume here absolutely no volume today and this thing was going up and look at the pullback today and that is why you need these updates coming out so you guys can make money you can see right here guys it came back down to the support today uh, close to 161 but this is a strong support and look at the bounce we got four dollars back up to the upside so if you actually call this move down here a tight stop loss you could have made a lot of money from this level and now it's trading near 166 so watch out Google here if this thing gets a rejection there might be more downside but if this thing comes back up and fills these gaps and then possibly gets above 173 then there is more upside on Google on AMD it's down one and a half percent so AMD also on a strong downtrend and looks like it's holding five day moving average right here as a support 132.85 and soon as that gives up this thing can dump easily down to 125 122 now to the upside AMD can break and hold 138 then you're going to see some continuation to the upside back up to 145 148 and over that level you're going to see AMD going up and filling this gap 153.80 on a meta it's up 1.60 percent so meta massive move to the upside and this thing got up to 520 almost today and trading over upper bollinger band so this thing is insane guys just on monday it was dying and you can see i mean how big of a move we got here on meta so this was the candle from monday we actually got slightly under 452 i think it was uh, 448 and today 520 so just do the math. I mean, this thing went over, you know, uh, like 65, 70 bucks in just one week. That is a massive move on a stock like Meta. Now, yes, 
this move is definitely bullish. We are definitely not on a downtrend anymore. It was, but look at this move. Now, if this thing actually can consolidate right here, maybe, you know, some sort of a bull flag or something like a box or anything, you know, here, some sort of consolidation. And then we take out, let this Bollinger Band expand even higher and Meta takes out 520. In that case, it's going to look more bullish for a move up to 531, 538, and then maybe even a brand new all-time high, which is possible. I mean, this thing came back up near all-time highs already, only like what, uh, 24 bucks away. That is not big. You can see this thing moved about 70 bucks in just five days. So Meta, now, if this is actually a dead cat bounce and you're not buying it, which I get it, look at the volume here, guys, absolutely nothing. So Meta, next week, if there is a pullback, there will be support at 504, 500, and then down here, 495, these two moving averages, and then 490. Under 490, this thing can dump easily down to 481.64, these two moving averages, 13 and 20-day uh, moving average, and below that, this was a dead cat bounce, and you're going to see continuation to the downside. Now, like I said, we need to see some sort of a bull flag, you know, some base building here, uh, before that next uh, big breakout to the upside over 520. But if this thing breaks out again over 520, I'll be looking to maybe even short because at that point, this thing will be, uh, you know, kind of overbought, trading way outside the Bollinger Band. So Netflix also going up half a percent and look at this massive move. And even yesterday, I mean, from these lows down here, guys, I mean, this was the perfect support level that I actually had. Um, and Monday, this thing came back down to 588 cutting slightly under that level and look at the move almost up to 640 so here on netflix we definitely got over 630 so that is looking bullish in the short term as long as this thing can hold 630 we might see a move up to 651.40 to retest 50 day moving average and over that level you're going to see once uh, 666 to 664 and then we can talk about even more upside here on netflix now to the downside, if this thing cannot hold 630, then watch out for a move down to uh, 624 to 623, 13-day moving average. And under that level, we also have support at 616.78 and then 604, 600, and then 588. On Tesla stock is up just over half a percent. So Tesla here trading over 200. And you can see similar pattern right here on Tesla. We actually came back, went back up. Uh, kind of a, forming a bear flag and then we saw the flush all the way down to 183 last week on Monday came back up and trading near 200 for yeah, pretty much uh, all week this week and now it has to hold 200 if we're gonna see Tesla going back up to close this gap near 206 and over 206 you're going to see a move up to 212 and if this thing can break and hold 212 then there is gonna be more significant upside all the way up to 225 to retest 20 day moving average which is negative sloping and that is not bullish now if this thing actually breaks down again and goes under 200 definitely you're going to see a flush all the way down to 183 on tesla on nvidia stock is down 0.21 percent so you can see nvidia again came up to 107 almost and getting a rejection and you can see even day before and even on Wednesday, this thing actually got over 107. But look at this bearish engulfing candle. And we did not actually take out this candle. So the way I see it, guys, NVIDIA takes out this candle and breaks over this candle. Top of this candle, that is going to be bullish. As long as this thing can stay over this candle, we might see some more upside, possibly up to 118. Now, if this bearish looking candle is going to play out and we're just buying time right here chopping in between this candle then watch out if this thing actually takes out bottom of this candle and we actually close under this candle in that case we might be retesting these lows down here again and that's gonna be first of all we do have support around at 98 and then 96 and below that we might be going down and there is a gap down here guys long way down and this is gonna be around I would say 69 to 68 bucks and if this thing makes a new low and this is actually a lower high we might be making a new low and that low could be this low down here and filling this gap at 68 to 69 bucks 
And at that point, NVIDIA, in my view, I think in the short term, that's going to be a good opportunity to go long here. Even right now, I'm holding some NVIDIA shares, but I did take profit. Even buying this dip, I actually took profit on Wednesday right here. And I'm holding a smaller position right now. If there is a pullback, I'll definitely add into my position. But, you know, I'm not buying any anymore. I'm not even selling anymore. Just waiting to see what this stock can do next week if we can actually get over this level uh, 107 and possibly take out top of this candle in that case that's gonna look more bullish even in the short term we can actually make a move up to 118 until then this is still a strong resistance to watch 107 you can see multiple rejection guys not one this was a strong support it was holding and now that we actually broke this level it just came back up, got a rejection one, two, almost like three right here recently in uh, just about a week. So if this thing cannot take out and hold 107, we will see more downside on Nvidia stock. That is for sure. And that's all I have for you guys in this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back with 100 plus likes on this video on Monday night.